Alright, hello there YouTube and welcome back to another 25 days of Christmas. I am Random Ross and today is day 16 and for that one I thought I would review National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's a family festive comedy classic, you know, part of the, is it the third, third or fourth installment of the Vacation franchise? Uh, you know, written by John Hughes of Home Alone, writer, you know, who wrote Home Alone. And directed by Jeremiah someone I can't remember. But stars um, Chevy Chase, um, what's her name? Summit D'Angelo and Randy Quaid. So this is, as I've said already, a festive comedy. It also features a very young John Galecki, yeah, Big Bang Theory, as Russ in this one, and Juliette Lewis as Audrey, uh, the Griswold kids. And in this one, Clark goes all out to give the family the best, jolliest Christmas ever. And he has the whole family round as well for the kit for the season. And uh, he goes mad, decorating the house, getting the tree, and with his crazy shenanigans, it's one disaster after another, but Clark brushes it off and rises above it. So, <coughs> let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, I love how over the top Clark Griswold is with everything. And, you know, how Helen, um, you know, thinks he might be going a bit overboard, but, you know, I love Clark's enthusiasm and commitment and how he always makes, or at least tries, to make the best of everything in a bad situation and how committed a family man Clark Griswold is. And that's all done by the great performing comedic talents of Chevy Chase as his character. You know, and he is just hilarious. He's funny when he's Clark, he's funny when he's not being funny. And I love that whole comedic speech when, when everyone's giving up and he is just losing it. And he's just wanting everyone to just enjoy everything, even though it's a disaster when he goes, you know what, no one's going to ruin this Christmas. And he gives the whole speech saying when Santa squeezes his big fat red butt down that chimney, he's going to find those jolliest assholes on this side of the nut house. That is a funny moment. And I say it to my dad every year when it's Christmas. I say, Dad, what are we going to be this year? And I tell him that whole thing and he even tells it with me and we laugh about it. So I like that moment in there. I also like the supporting cast they got, even her from Everybody Loves Raymond's in it, and you know, the old relatives like the granny who's got dementia and the other one who the uncle who's so absent minded and doesn't realise he's burnt down the tree. And yeah, you know, just the physical comedy in there. I also liked, you know, the actors they got for the kids. Now the kids I believe have been recasted in every single movie instalment. In this one, we had Johnny Galecki and Julia Lewis. And yeah, this time Russ was like a little kid. Was it a prequel or something? I don't know. I don't question that. I just enjoy the films and I pretend the kids haven't even changed at all, even though they have. They all were great in this too, playing their roles, Audrey and Russ. And uh, I even liked Eddie Griswold. Eddie Griswold again appears in all these ones. In fact, Eddie Griswold is such a popular character that he even got a spin-off sequel, Christmas Vacation 2, which no one's ever heard of. It's been, it was a straight-to-video film, and it's very underrated and forgotten about. I've only seen it once, and I can't seem to find it again. But th there is a sequel to this one, or well, so a sort of spin-off sequel, called Christmas Vacation 2. Um, I also liked how Clark always just annoyed the neighbors all the time, and how crazy he was in this. And um, you know, and this I think this is I think is the only one where they stay at home, where they don't go on vacation. Because the whole premise of these movies is they go on vacation or is New Britain holiday. But in this Christmas vacation, it's like you know, vacation is in the holidays. It's the time off work and everything. And I like that. I like the score in this and the soundtrack. They do some good songs in there, like that that Bing Crosby song, you know what I mean. Hello, A Christmas or something. And even the song they had for the movie that they sang, 
you know, Christmas vacation, the whole animation segment in the opening credits. This is just a hilarious, wacky, entertaining Christmas movie, and I can't recommend it enough. And you should watch it every Christmas like me and my family does. It's a family thing here. We even watch it, last year we even watched it from the 1st of December. So anyway, yeah, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love it to death, just like Home Alone, just like, you know, Jingle All The Way, just like Christmas Carol. I'm giving it, you guessed it, 5 out of 5 for all the great memories I've got of this movie. So there you are. That's it for today's uh, episode. So have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. Now, to see us out, we've got Steve and Carol, so I'll see you tomorrow, and until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye. Yeah, told me all about my Christmas family traditions. Yeah, it's a fun film, that ain't it, Christmas vacation. All right, enough now. Christmas joke time, right? So why... Was the turkey in a pop band? Because he was the only one with drumsticks. <clears throat> and we don't have any drumsticks on us right now, so we go so I have to do that <clears throat> sound. Right then, well, I'll see you later then. <laughs>